Genre. Biography. Essential question. What do heroes do? Read about the brave woman who became the first African-American female pilot. Brave Bessie. Written and illustrated by Eric Velasquez. Twice a year, a library wagon would stop in front of Bessie Coleman's little house in Texas. Bessie's mom would rent books for her 12 children to read. Bessie loved to read about Booker T. Washington and Harriet Tubman. They were her heroes. Bessie daydreamed of being someone special like them. Bessie knew school was important. She walked four miles each day to get to school and four miles home. She practiced reading to her little brothers and sisters. She practiced her numbers by checking the money her family got for picking cotton. Bessie scrimped and saved enough so she could go to college. She went to college at 18 but left after only a few months. She could not afford to stay in school. But Bessie was not ready to give up on her dreams. She decided to move to Chicago. Her brothers Walter and John lived there. It was a big and exciting city where people's dreams came true. Stop and check. Summarize. Summarize what Bessie did to prepare for college. Bessie soon got a job in a barber shop. Bessie enjoyed listening to John tell stories about French lady pilots in World War I. Bessie had never heard of a lady pilot. The more Bessie thought, the more she liked the idea. Bessie knew she could learn to fly, too. Bessie quickly discovered how hard it would be to become a pilot. In the 1920s, there were rules about who could learn to fly. Most people wouldn't teach someone with Beth Bessie's skin color how to fly. Bessie did not agree with the rules, but she could not find anyone to teach her to fly. One day, Bessie met a very important man who worked at a newspaper. She asked him if he knew anyone that could teach her how to fly a plane. He told Bessie to go to France. That is where she had first heard of lady pilots. He told her it would be a lot of work, but Bessie was determined to succeed. She took classes and learned to speak French. She saved her money and was finally able to buy a ticket to France. Bessie sailed to France on a steamship. She had never been on a ship before. It was big and noisy. The ocean was windy and rough. Bessie was a little scared being on a big ship all by herself. She reminded herself that she was on her way to being somebody special. The trip took nine long days to sail across the Atlantic Ocean. Bessie stared out at the water, waiting to see land. Finally, Bessie reached France. Soon, she found a school that would teach her how to fly a plane. After years of hard work, Bessie was ready for her first flying lesson. First, Bessie had to study how to inspect a plane. This plane had wings made of wood and cloth. Bessie had to check the cloth wings for any tears. She also had to check the propeller. After a few lessons, Bessie climbed into the back of the plane and her teacher climbed into the front. The propeller whirled and the engine chugged. After a running start, the plane took off. Bessie gripped the controls as she took to the air. Her cheeks were stinging from the cold wind, but Bessie was grinning. Bessie had to walk miles and miles to the flying school each day, just like she walked to school as a child. Bessie practiced how to take off and how to land. She learned all the words for planes and flying in English and in French. Finally, Bessie became the first African-American woman to earn a pilot's license. People could call her in Aviatrix, the name for a lady pilot. That meant she was truly someone special. Stop and check. Summarize. Bessie worked for years to earn her pilot's license. Summarize what she did to earn it. 
Bessie returned to America. She was surprised to see reporters waiting to ask her questions. Many people were interested in Bessie. They wanted to see her fly planes. Bessie wanted to help other African Americans. She wanted children to know they could make their dreams come true. She decided to earn money for her own flying school by performing stunt flying shows. One sunny day, over 1,000 people paid to see Bessie perform in New York. The crowd cheered as Bessie climbed into the cockpit. She was wearing a leather coat, a helmet, goggles, and a confident smile. The plane slowly rolled down the field and took off. Bessie performed challenging flying stunts like figures eights and tailspins. The crowd went wild. Bessie performed her stunts in Texas, Tennessee, and Illinois. She flew over fields like the one she picked cotton in as a child. Crowds of people were below her, waving and cheering. She had earned the title, Brave Bessie. Years later, her dreams of opening a school finally came true. The Bessie Coleman Aero Club taught African American people how to fly. Thanks to Bessie, her dreams were taking flight too. Brave Bessie. 1892, Bessie was born on January 26 in Atlanta, Texas. 1910, Bessie enrolls in college. 1915, Bessie moves to Chicago, Illinois. 1920, Bessie sails to France in the SS Imperator. 1921, on June 15th, Bessie obtains her pilot license in France. 1922, Bessie performs her first air show in New York. 1925, Bessie earns the name Brave Bessie. 1926, Bessie Coleman dies in Jackson, Florida. 1929, the Bessie Coleman Aero Club opens.